uh, PTC price death chop was going to continue to characterize the aftermath of last week's Bitcoin flash crash. Taking and Bitcoin stayed stubbornly anti-trend on August 22nd as $26,000 became a magnet for intraday BTC price action. Uh, data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and TradingView tracked a third day of sideways performance on BTC USD, uh, despite being heavily oversold according to relative strength index readings. Uh, Bitcoin refused to offer any form of recovery bounce from levels last seen two months prior, uh, and they wanted them against it. Market participants were restless with popular trader Yell referring to intraday movements as the death chop. Enough at this stage, it feels like a game of chicken to see who is going to make a move to break the chop. Monitoring resource material indicators continued. Uh, analyzing liquidity on the Binance BTC USD order book material indicators noted a broad lack of liquidity, increasing the potential for a sharp move in either direction. Uh, the market is waiting to see if more bid or more ask liquidity is going to be attracted to the range. It explained to ex subscribers uh, the implications were nonetheless uh, potentially very serious for bulls with a lower low after risk, uh, even $20,000 support uh, going forward at TAT. Needless to say, printing a little lights in this TF has macro implications. Printing two little lights would push BTC down to sub-20,000 levels, material indicators concluded. And zooming out, hope remained that Bitcoin could rescue its overall uptrend. In a dedicated YouTube update on the day, Michel Vine de Pop, founder and CEO of trading firm 8, noted the heavily oversold signals being generated by RSI. On 12-hour time frames, RSI measured less than 19 at the time of writing. We are its lowest levels since the 2018 bear market bottom. Daily levels were similar, reaching their lowest since the March 2020 COVID-19 cross-market crash. Every time we see such a move, you get a sort of V-shaped recovery back up and it finds an equilibrium on a higher floor. And the pop said to me about previous BTC price flash crashes. And he added that it was very likely that Bitcoin could stage a comeback to focus on $26,500 or more next, uh, just before the industry is what a deal. And what was it just been the name time that you go uh, the previous bull market? It's a meanwhile suggested alongside a comparative chart. 